Hi, this is Jamie from Albert Group Landscaping and Swimming Pools. Today I'm going to show you how quickly and easily we can design your backyard in 3D so that you can visualize your project before you decide to make your investment. Right now, you've caught me in the middle of drawing a house. Now that the house is done, I'm going to go check it out and see how it looks in 3D. I like to add some doors and windows to give it that extra touch of realism that we're really going for in these drawings. Okay, now I'm going to go check it out in 3D. It looks like a whole different house. In this project, I'd like to show you a swimming pool. And I'm choosing here a Tuscany 29 from Leisure Pools USA. And see how it looks. Looks good. One of the things I noticed though is the real leisure pool is blue so we're going to add the blue color to it. Next thing I'd like to do is show you a design for a patio so we're going to start out with a nice square patio looks nice and what I'd like to do now is place the pool exactly where I want it so I'm going to use a, the ruler in the program which gives me real accurate measurements. From here I can grab the pool, line it up just so. Next thing I like to add is a spa. Here we have an eight foot spa. Looks good. You know since the spa is so close to the pool it would be nice if it would spill over and we're gonna put in a spillover. And let's see how the spillover looks. Spillover spilling nicely into the pool. One thing I like to do is make the side of the spa look like stacked stone. So I'm just going to click on it, make it look like stacked stone. And I like the top coping on both the pool and the spa to look like blue stone. The next thing I like to do is give the patio some shape and we're gonna just round the corners just to give it just a little bit nicer look. Next thing I'd like to do is add in a outdoor kitchen and maybe some seating and chairs, tables, what have you. You'll notice where the red chairs are. So I'm gonna add a little bump out on the patio. And I'm also gonna go and stick in some plant beds that I've already drawn. So you can see here we're just installing plant beds and just getting everything lined up just right. And we're going to build a fire pit real quick. I'm going to show you how easy it is, just how fast and makes it real, really nice if we want to just make changes on the fly. Got a nice fire going. Now the next thing that you notice most pools have are fence. So we're going to go to that stage and place the fence in. And since this project is in the woods, we like to put the woods back. So I'm going to insert the trees. After that, the next thing to put in is the equipment pad for all of the pool equipment. Then I think we're ready to, to walk around the project and see what we have here. First thing you'll notice is that everything is to scale. And not only is it to scale, but you can see what it looks like from outside and from inside. So now we're in the house looking out of these windows. And you can see how beautiful the backyard looks. Nice, peaceful, and tranquil. As we walk out of the set of doors, we go over here to the outdoor kitchen and you'll notice a couple things. One is from this outdoor kitchen you have full supervision of the pool. Two, you'll notice that you're also facing all your guests um, a lot of old-time 
you know, grilling outside, you know, the grill is off to the corner and your back is towards the guest. This list should really be part of the party. And having an outdoor kitchen like that is also a place where people want to congregate. So when you are cooking and you are doing things behind the grill, it's you really are entertaining. You know, people are there, they're checking it out, they're sitting by the right by the um the bar area, they're having a great time. Over here, you can also see that, yeah, you can put a table here, and you got plenty of room to walk around it. Another thing, is it easy to get over here? Absolutely. Because it's all to scale. You can just walk around and check it out. You can also check out the hot tub. So if you're sitting in a corner over here, and you want to just see how it lo everything looks, boom. Now, what if we went to nighttime? And you can check out the lights. You can also go over here to the fire. Check out the fire. And you said, you know what? Would it be cool? It'd be nice if we had a light in the pool. So fine. We're going to pick out a pool light and put it in. So now we have our pool light installed. And we're ready to go. Lights in the pool. You can also see that one of the things I did over here was put a light set up so you could see and cook very easily. That's one of the uh, the biggest no-nos is to not have enough light when you're cooking. Over here you also have enough light for when you're dining. So these lights weren't just thrown in there, they were actually thought about and planned. Well, I thank you for checking out my uh, my video and if there's anything I could ever do for you, come to your house and give you a nice presentation, I'd be glad to.